What's up, you guys? I'm Dan Long with my buddy here, Chris Schoolcraft. I am the PR manager from Animus Interactive. He is a community manager. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so we are going to talk about gathering resources, which is super important. If you don't have resources, you can't build anything. You can't make yeah, so anything. Go down pretty quick, yeah, without those. Yeah, you can't fight. Super, super important resources. So there are... Six different types of resources. If you look up here at the top right of my screen, I've got my cursor over there. There is population. This shows uh, right here that we have a, one population. That means that I can only have one more peasant than I have. Over here, we've got food. Shows how much we have in stock. Uh, gold. Then we have iron. We have stone. And we have wood. Now, wood. Yeah, right. Go ahead. I was just going to say, everything you do here uh, in the game pretty much going to cost one of those resources as far as building things or uh, spawning out units. So those are very critical to get as many of those as you can. Right. And if you run out of those or your enemy comes and takes out one of your resource, one of your resources, kind of bad news for you. So you want to make sure and protect your resources. Now, all buildings are made from wood. So it's very important that we work on something for harvesting wood and what we need to harvest wood is a sawmill. So how do you start building? Up here in the top left, there is a build menu and you just click that. Over here on the right, it has uh, we have our different builds that we can build. The farm, house, mine, sawmill, and then we also have a warehouse. We won't talk about that right now. But what we need is a sawmill and it costs 100 wood. Now what we want to do is we left click the sawmill and we want to put the sawmill somewhere where it turns green when we move it around. And we also want to put it somewhere near the resource of wood so that that way the peasants, when they're harvesting, don't have a long way to go. So I'm going to put it right here. You can actually rotate by pressing the L and the K keys to put it exactly where you want. And I'm just going to put it right here. So what will happen is a peasant will come. There he goes. And he's going to go build that. Go ahead. Now, an alternative method to opening the build queue there is that you can click on one of the peasants and it'll open a box down on your lower right hand corner and click on the hammer key there. Okay. And there you go. All right. Same so thing. Uh, same, same build menu, just different ways to get to it. Right, and that's good because a lot of people like to do different things. So let's build a farm. We want the farm. We want the farm to be pretty close to uh, to to our base here, to our town hall, to our soon to be castle. So we'll plenty just, of hungry people can't have them waiting for their for their grub. Right. We'll click that and look a peasant. He's just gonna run over there and and uh, start building. You can actually grab another peasant and then right click over it. When the mouse changes to a hammer, you can click that and send two peasants, so that way they'll build faster. And if you want, if you want something to run, you can select it and then press the R key and see that he will run a lot faster. So now watch how the speed is increased because both of them are building on it. Now the cool thing is, whenever you send a peasant to go build, like let's go over here, he just went and built the sawmill. Why he aren't we going He's supposed anywhere? to automatically be harvesting. There he goes. So he is automatically harvesting wood and going back to the sawmill. So if you look at the ones here, since I sent both of them to build the farm, they're both working on the farm and they're harvesting food. And you can see that the food goes up every time they make a trip. Now, the other things oh. we need to do is uh, we have three rock resources right here. And we need to build mines on them. So here's a little technique. You go to the build menu, click on mine. There's the mine. There we go. And you can hold down shift, put the mine exactly where you want. Hold down shift and you can build multiple mines here. Now what will happen is the free peasants, they will take off and go to the mine right there. So now we have our gold, our stone and our iron. We just need some more things. We need more peasants. So let's That's build it. let's build some houses. I guess I'm going to build let's see. Let's just build 3 of them. You can put the houses. Yep. Houses are kind of cool. You can kind of put them wherever you want. 
I like to make them kind of pretty and I'm just going to each one as them. they get built will up uh, increase your population and then later on we'll talk about upgrades and how to do that but if you upgrade the house it will also add additional population for that house that's right you can and you can upgrade a lot of things so that they will produce or they will I don't have enough resources to build that unit that's right because I don't have any more oh, free population. slots yeah my population is down so watch as soon as this house gets built. I'm going to make this guy run. We can watch as soon as this house is built, we will see the population go up. Let's actually send this guy to this house. So this should go up by... There we go. Went up by 10. All right. Thanks for watching. We're going to have another video for you. So tune into that. Thanks a lot. Yep, bye.